Hello, Fur Girl Falcons. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. If you are hungry and you need some food, go to the nearest public school and pick up a breakfast between 8.30 and 9.30, or you can pick up a lunch between 12 and 1. This is at the Roseburg Public Schools. Or, if you aren't close to a school, you can wait for those lovely yellow buses to come by and drop off food for you. Today's question. Three men were in a boat. It capsized, which means it sank. But only two men got their hair wet. Why is that? Today's weather looks like it's going to be a lot like yesterday. So not really cold, but not really hot either. And probably overcast and some sprinkles. So make sure that you get outside for some fresh air during those times when it's not sprinkling. Or if you like getting a little wet, go outside when it's sprinkling. We really need the rain right now. So it's a good thing that it's not 90 degrees and that we're getting a little bit of drippage from the sky. All right, boys and girls and parents, it is that time of year again when registration for next year is happening. Right now, registration is happening only online, and you can do that by going to the Roseburg School District website, and from there, it will give you instructions on how to register. This is for all students that are returning to Roseburg Public Schools. So um, if you have any questions at all or need any assistance of any kind, you may call for registration. You may call Mrs. Maldonado at 541-378-4111. That is uh, for Groves School District cell phone. So you can reach her at that number and she would be happy to answer any of your questions that she can. Today is also the first day of pickup for personal belongings that were left behind at school. The teachers have cleaned out desks and scoured other classrooms and they've bagged everything up and everything is ready to go. Today, belonging pickup will happen between nine o'clock and noon and it will happen again tomorrow and tomorrow it will happen between one and four. This is also a great opportunity to return any of your school library books that you checked out. If you have any Fir Grove library books or if you happen to have library books from another Roseburg Public School, you may drop them off at Fir Grove. And I will make sure that it gets back to the appropriate school if you're returning a book from another school. Um, so again, today from nine until 12 and tomorrow from one until four. Remember Falcons, you need to stay in your car. It's gonna be just like it was when you picked up Chromebooks and iPads. You're gonna stay in your car, you're gonna pull up some a staff member who's gonna be so thrilled to see your face um, is going to ask for your name and your teacher's name probably and they'll go retrieve your things and bring them right to the car for you. Drivers, if you could please have a place for them to put the belongings that doesn't involve any direct contact, that would be amazing. Um, so again, one more time, that's nine to noon today and one to four tomorrow. All right, so this week I'm talking a lot about libraries again. I hope all of you are taking advantage of Sora or Epic, which are electronic libraries. I also want to remind all of you that the Roseburg City Library is um, giving people an opportunity to check out books from them. You get into their card catalog and remember their roseburgpubliclibrary.org for their website, all one word, and I don't think it's cap sensitive. So roseburgpubliclibrary.org you reserve the book, and then on Thursdays between three o'clock and six o'clock, they will have checked the book out for you, and um, it's a drive-up kind of thing, just like you know, belonging pickup and Chromebook pickup. You pull into the parking lot. There will be people there to direct you. You'll give them your name, and they will have the books 
ready to go for you. And again, they're asking for a touchless delivery system. So have a way for whoever it is to put the book in your trunk or in a car seat or something that doesn't involve actually handling, handing it to someone. Uh, you need to have a Roseburg library card, a Roseburg public library card in order to do this, which is very easy to obtain. Again, it's just online. If you go to the roseburgpubliclibrary.org site, there will be directions on how to get it. Um, and if you are registered as a Roseburg Public School student, your library card is free. It doesn't cost you anything to have a library card. So no matter where you live, you could live in Sutherland, but if you're registered as a Roseburg Public Schools student, you can have a library card. Okay, if you have any questions or if you need assistance at the Roseburg City Library, their phone number is 541-492-7050. Again, that's 541-492-7050. Uh, and the answer to today's question, two men were, or three men were in a boat it capsized, but only two men got their hair wet. Why? Because <laughs> one was bald. <laughs> okay, today's quote, this week's quote is, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. So, my fur grow falcons, I hope you are all exercising your minds, reading, and doing all your online schoolwork. Until the next time.